Linda Tambuja to move a motion. Honorable Speaker, having received the report of the Privileges Committee, I move that A. The Honorable Chosaya Mbani Marama be suspended from Parliament for three years effective immediately to be served till 17th February 2026. B. That the Honorable Chosaya Mbani Marama issue a written apology to His Excellency the President within 14 days from today, 17th February 2023. See that the Honorable Chosaya Mbani Marama issue an apology to the public within 48 hours from today, 17th February 2023. D, that the period, that during the period of suspension, Honorable Chosaya Mbani Marama is not allowed to enter the parliamentary precincts. And E, that if the Honorable Chosaya Mbani Marama fails to comply, necessary enforcement measures must be imposed to ensure compliance. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Is there a second up? Honorable Speaker, I second the motion. I now call on Honorable Linda Tambuya to speak on the motion. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Having received the report of the Privileges Committee, Honorable Speaker, I stand here as a member of the Privileged Committee to support the report tabled by the Chairperson, the Honorable Lenora Ngerengere Tambua. The matter of privilege that was referred by your good self, Honorable Speaker, for the consideration of the committee. Honorable Speaker, the ruling you made to refer this matter to the Privileges Committee is commendable, as it shows to the world that democracy is alive and well in this country. Honorable Speaker is the embodiment of integrity and decorum in Parliament, and this is why parliamentary democracy works to enable the mechanisms of Parliament to work in respect of the people of Fiji. I wish to inform honourable members that both the Honourable Pio Tikundundua and the Honourable Leader of Opposition, Honourable Chusayam Banimarama, attended the hearings of the Privileges Committee when they were summoned and were fully cooperative. Honourable Speaker and honourable members, at this juncture, I wish to advise that the members of the committee completed their deliberations after which the members who had dissenting views gave their opinions and then we took a vote. And it was agreed by that we will present this report to the House with the recommendations with the three members who were in agreement and two against. Members agreed by vote that there was a breach and need to staunchly protect the sanctity and decorum of Parliament, being the representative body of all Fijians. There is a need to strengthen the instrument of Parliament and take serious measures to protect the dignity and supremeness of the legislature. When pursuant to Standing Order 62.3, His, Ex His Excellency has been denigrated, which should not happen as he is the embodiment of the state. And under Standing Order Section, Standing Order 62, 4C, where seditious words were uttered that breached the Standing Orders. Honorable Speaker, matters of offensive conduct towards Parliament must be taken seriously. It is even more important, Honorable Speaker, that members of Parliament uphold the required standard of behavior in Parliament. In particular, the prohibition against speaking words that are disrespectful to our head of state, as well as seditious words that breach the standing orders. Honorable Speaker, sir, given the above, the Privileges Committee has recommended actions to be taken, and we request the members to consider the recommendations as put forward, and I commend the motion to the House. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Tumuya.